All right, uh, another little try for this one. I'm going to try Corpse Party Rebuild version 1.0e. I'm actually very much a big fan of Corpse Party, but I haven't really had any time to actually try and play the games of the older caliber since I've hmm, played through the, well, renewed versions that came out on, I believe, some handhelds. And I've seen the whole thing that came out like two years or one year ago. Corpse Party Blood Drive, I believe it was called. I'm kind of sad because the ending was crap, but whatever. You can't really go that far with this kind of game. Okay, since I can't really see any um, options here, I'm going to go for option number one, which is probably going to be the new game, I hope. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, this is kind of ominous. There's no text. Why is there no text? This. Is this ever going to end? Oh. Why is there no text? Okay, just... Just a moment, I need to figure this out. Okay, so I think I figured it all out. It was only the simplest of mistakes. Uh, I had to actually install the fucking font for it to show, which is kind of weird. But okay, let's try this again. New game. Watch the opening. Might as well. Please ensure your speakers are turned up. The sound of this game is designed to enhance your experience. Thanks for that, talking text. Kinex Soft. Okay. Corpse Party, original work. Okay, so it's the credits that I was skipping. Mm, here you go. Oh. Now it's raining. By the way, if you hear any chewing or whatever of the tiny marshmallows in front of me, they're pretty tasty. Okay. All people, organizations, and places appearing in this work are fictionous. Fictitious. Okay, I can read today. Any resemblance to actual events or locales or persons, living or dead, is entirely coincidental. Good to know, because I would <laughs> lose my shit if that was true. Hey, have you heard what happened to the school? That's right, back when the school was being built, a girl no older than us was hanging around the third floor, when suddenly... Crack! She fell, split her head open, and died. Cool. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's Ayumi telling a real ghost story. And after that, do you know what happened to the girl? Um, they held a funeral and cremated her? Naomi, you stupid piece of shit, no. No, no, no. When she cracked her head open and everyone thought she was dead, she jumped up and started repeating more, more, over and over and crackling with laughter. And then she disappeared. I'm not even pretending to be like this scare, scary storyteller, whatever. Then what? Yoshiki, you poor little sack of shit. She was gone, only leaving behind the top of her head and her blood. So I guess you could call her missing. M missing your joke. It was a rainy after school day, just like this. Hmm. Wait, who was that? 
Who are you kidding? That was you, wasn't it? What? That wasn't me. Oh shit. Wow. Yeah. What, what was that? These kids are fucking terrible. Sorry, that was me. Oh? That ear piercing scream was produced by Mochida. Can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> Bitch. You might be. N no, I meant to say it was me before. Bit of a coward, huh? Guys, they haven't dropped yet. Naomi, you bitch. Oh. Why are they running in place? Enough of that. We came here for the school festival, not for ghost stories. Jeez, I can't believe how much we have left to do. And it's already past time for us to head home. I was like, 12 in the fucking night. Yeah. Come on, guys. We don't want to be here till dawn. <laughs> Until dawn, huh? Great game. Recommend. Wholeheartedly recommend. Hee hee hee. Figures the two scaredy cats will team up against me. Uh, shut up and work. Move it, move it. We gotta wrap this up. Oh. Me and Shinozaki will work on decorating. Satoshi Kishinuma, would you mind moving the desk back? Desks back? Y yeah. Yoshiki looks as if he's like 35, not 16 or whatever. Man, why did everyone else get to ditch out of this? Why is it just us? Just a fact of life. People suck. That's true. Nothing we can do about it. We have to follow the class rep's orders. Oh, I forgot. That's Ayumi. If it wasn't for her... I'd be at home sleeping in a warm bed. Oh, wait, it's not a Yumi? I thought she was a class rep. Maybe not in this version. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. No one wants to be here. Let's just do it. No, no, no use complaining about it. Let's just finish up and go home. Ayumi, you're gonna die first. I'm pretty sure of it. Hmm. Huh. A power outage? What bad timing, huh? Guess we can't do anything now. Well, what about the candle from earlier? I have it around here somewhere. Maybe inside one of these desks? You suck, bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who, who's there? Someone's at the door. Hmm. S Satoshi? Y you wanna get that? M me Come on, be a man. Be a man. Okay, let's make a man out of you, Satoshi shit. You sly bastard. Oh. Where's the... Like, I guess here? Oh, I'm coming in. Big brother. Oh god, it's Yuka. Uh, Yuka, what are you doing here? We were gone for so long, so I thought I'd come pick you up. Well, sad as she is a bit of a little shit, so I guess his little sister has to take care of him. Kind of sad. And you forgot your umbrella here. No, you're right. I'm sorry, Yuka. You're such a sharp girl. As a reward, I'll treat you to some crepes later. Crepe. Later. Yay, I knew it! Hmm. My, my wallet's gonna fucking hurt. Is she a middle schooler? So is she like, what, 10? <laughs> yeah, this is Yuka, my younger sister. Good evening, thank you for taking care of my big brother. Even though I look fucking third grade in this picture. She is adorable! Wow, I can't believe I didn't know you had such an adorable little sister, Satoshi. 
I'm gonna steal her away. You just wait. Uh, Naomi is a pedophile in disguise. I fucking knew it. <laughs> well, she's still in junior high, you know. Hmm, I got it. Why don't I help out? S seriously? If you don't mind, then, uh... uh Alright, the more manpower we got, the faster it will go. Let's move. Oh, that was fucking quick. You really love your ghost stories. Of course, I wouldn't miss out on an opportunity to spook everyone. And that's why we get to hear them over and over, huh? <laughs> Naomi's being a bit of a bitch lately. <laughs> Crap, look at the time, it's past 8! Oh, I thought it was past 10. Hey, we are all down here. Fantastic, that means you can get over here and help us. Hmm? With what? Help me. Huh? Well, shit. Uh. Another power outage. This school's shitty as heck. Wait. Did anyone else hear a strange voice? N no. I didn't hear a thing. Are you trying to scare us again, Shinozaki? I'm going to punch you in the face. No, I swear I heard something. Wait a second, you hear that? Hmm. Hmm. I can't hear any sound. It sounds like an organ. Maybe it's from the music room? Oh, I can hear something in the background. Just a little tiny bit of it, though. Hold up. Who would be playing... Oh. Music in the school at this late at night. No. Should we go check? Oh no, I'm not being the guinea pig again. What if it's some bloody headless girl like from Shinozaki's story? What are you, five? But aren't you curious? Let's check! And she's gonna die. First, sit yourself. I don't wanna go... Oh, oh forget it. She was trying to hit on him, but he missed the opportunity. No secret dig into that flesh. I'm going after her. Now, oh, Yoshiki got the fucking hint. Go out, bitch. Have a nice night. With the organs. C come on, everyone. There's always string in numbers. Mochida, bring Yuko along. Uh, they are probably dead over there. Come on, Yuka, let's go home. Oh my god, I have to babysit her. Big brother. Man, come on, Yuka. Oh. It definitely sounds like it's coming from the music room. Gives me the creeps. Uh, let's get moving. Yeah. Whoa, shit. Yeah, what's... What's going on? Yeah, Sadashi, everyone! Oh shit. Hmm. I think our school is being attacked by the techno fucking aliens. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. What the? What happened? Yuka? Naomi? Yoshiki? Shinozaki? Someone, answer me! Damn, gotta be a light or something somewhere. Oh yeah, the candle area. Huh? This is a classroom, but... Oh, so he got the candle. Huh? What's this? What's with this desk? Just what's going on here? Oh, you guys are there. Naomi, it's you, right? Uh, 
Oh, I can run. Thank the Lord. Oh. Oh. What magic? Hey, Naomi, hang in there. Uh, yeah, she's fine. What, what are we? Who knows, I can make heads or tails of what's going on. Hmm. What? Huh? Hold on. Where are we? What's going on? I love an answer to that as well. Oh, it's Yuka. She's not dead yet. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, of course she's, cr she's crying, damn it. Hey now, dry those tears. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry for any additional noises. I was fixing my hair. Uh, Alright. Oh, and, and she stopped like that? Found him! Yo, your guy's doing okay? Yeah, we're fine. Thank God the gang's all here. <laughs> the gang. <laughs> what are we going to call ourselves? Like, heavenly host survivors or death victims? Yeah, that's kind of hard to pronounce. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, Ayumi is the crying bitch again. What's wrong? Nothing. I think she's just a bit scared. Serves you right, bitch. <laughs> oh. No good, it's too dark to see outside and the window's jarred shut. Use one of the fucking chairs, I don't know. What? That makes no sense, damn it. Ah, oh, Yuka. Something seems to be written over there, mind reading it? Am I even playing? Oh. It looks like a newspaper. Oh, what's it say? It's dated September 24th, 1926. But... Where are we? No, this is all wrong. Someone save me! <laughs> That's the weirdest thing to say. <laughs> This is all wrong. Someone save me from this old building. Hmm. It's okay, Ayumi. We're all here for you. Being consoled by a fucking little girl. Ayumi, you suck. Yeah. Yeah, but thanks. Uh. That's right. We just gotta find an exit. Then we'll be able to go home and sleep in our own beds. What the hell makes you sometimes sure? Yeah. Well, would you rather stand around here and stir out your shoes? Right, let's search for an exit. Oh jeez. The music's a bit loud now. Sorry. Just a sec. Ah. Oh, that's better. How? We'll just comb this school inch by inch. A window, a door, something has to give. Absolutely, I agree. How about everyone else? I'm with Mochida. Me too. Well, if we're surging from top to bottom, we may want to split into two groups. Um, that's not a good idea. We should check up on each other every so often and update with any new details. That's not a bad idea, what do you guys think? Split up? I'm not so sure. She's got the right instincts for once. We'll be fine, we'll all be back soon. Are you really frightened, Miss Scary Story Lover? Wow, they actually called her that. <laughs> they just, I don't know, came up with that on the, on the spot. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, how do you think I feel? Scary stories and scary situations are entirely different concepts. 
back to the matter at hand, maybe. There's five of us, so I guess we gotta have a group of three and two. Oh. Would you like to view the character bios? Mm, no. Maybe? Touch. Uh, please touch. The bottom right desk. Sado Shimochida, 17 years old. Okay, I wasn't that far off. A second year student, Kisaragi Academy Senior High. Sadashi is a bit timid and some would say a coward, but he would do anything for his younger sister. And only for her, apparently. He's reliable, reliable in a pinch. In fact, he's the protagonist of this game. He and Naomi have a bit of a power struggle. And a romantic interest, probably. Okay, that's Naomi. Naomi Nakashima, 16 year old. Huh. Ever since junior high, she and Satoshi have had a tense relationship. She's always greeted him with, I am so sick of you. Hmm. She's the friggin' tsundere. Yuka Mochida, 14 years old. I would like to cross out the... This part and... 4 year old. Sadoshi's younger sister, currently a second year student at Kisaragi Academy Junior High School. So they go to the same school. Surprisingly. She got mixed up in all of this while delivering an umbrella to her brother. Spoiled by her family, she acts much younger than she really is. Oh. You deserve to die, you oh shit. Miss Ayumi Shinozaki, 70 years old. Class representative who loves to scare people. So she is a the fuck, fucking class rep. They could have just ditched this shit and gone home and just, I don't know, come back early in the morning. Hmm. Okay, she loves to tell ghost stories and it's rumored that's why she carries around a bunch of candles. She's a weirdo, in short. Um... Shit. Why won't this work? Oh. Actually, she tells those stories to hide her own fear. What the hell? What the heck is going on? Why won't this continue? Maybe it's my keyboard acting again, but... Oh! No? Yoshiki Kishinuma, 17 years old. Although he seems a bit cynical and rebellious, in actuality he's just frank and honest. He looks like a frank. <laughs> Which is why he didn't write, fight it too much when he was put onto the class committee VA ballot. And also why he showed up to prepare for the coming school culture festival. Oh, and that's about it. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, how should we split this? I'm fine as long as I'm with my big brother. You suck. I. Okay. Nakashima, you head on out with Satoshi. I'll take care of Shinozaki. I'm a bit worried about her. Eh? Sure. Alright, are we ready to go? Okay. Who's gonna bet? Who's gonna die first? <laughs> Just the two of us. Will we be safe? Don't worry about it. I got my super fist ready. Alright, meet back here in 30 minutes. Don't do anything reckless. Same goes for ya. I got two lovely ladies following ya. Thanks. Well. Big 
brother, here! Huh? What's this? It's my good luck charm. Please take it. Okay, Yuka's gonna die. Um, sorry, but you keep it. I can take something so valuable from you. Hmm. Yuka, are you crying, really? <laughs> Big brother, you're so thick-headed sometimes. Hmm. It worries me. And she's crying. Oh, damn. That's probably gonna change the outcome. Hmm. Mm, no. Thanks, Yuka, but I can take it. Your feelings are enough. I'm more worried about you. Returned Yuka's charm. Probably going to die because of this, but... We need to form some kind of bridge. Okay. Mm -hmm. A bunch of old books which have become yellow with age are tightly packed in the bookcase. She lied. Hmm. Um. Okay. There's a loose board on the floor. Take it, yep. It's so weird to control the ship. I think we may be able to cross somehow, but it's so narrow. Hey, how about that board we picked up earlier? Would that work? I can kinda imagine them just carrying this board around. Ah, I get it. Oh. for the first jump scare. X month, X day, Friday. Okay, I guess there's nothing in here. There's a bucket, piss in it. Yellow liquid, mm, I guess Yuka was here. <laughs> I'm surprised all of this is still standing, seeing all these holes. A mass of long, tangled hair fell out. Ew. It's packed full of worn out textbooks and encyclopedias. Hmm. Forbidden door. Okay, maybe I shouldn't mess with it. Oh. I have our first little corpse party. Hehe. <laughs> oh, damn it. Whoa, they're gonna freak out. What is this? Yeah. It's bones. Humans. No. Big brother, I'm scared. You're always scared, little shit. You, oh. oh. Who's there? You... you all were attracted here against your will, weren't you? The, the skeleton is talking! And suddenly, fucking Naomi became a demon. You all understand where you are. Mm, I don't know, can you tell us? To be honest, the where is irrelevant. 
it is hardly even worth asking. You wouldn't understand anyways. Because you are no longer within your own world. What? What do you mean? This is a world of hatred and malice composed by the residual thoughts of vengeful spirits. Leaks out and creates closed spaces. The one you are trapped in dates over 40 years back. Naturally, there is no way out. Be glad you are not alone. Stick together. That way, at least you can be with your friends in the end. <laughs> Unlike me. Oh. Wh Why did we have to be dragged down here? This ghost has a particularly strong bond to the real world. She calls anyone and everyone down here, even those unrelated to her death. Why the hell would she? I do not know. I don't even know how to escape my own plight. Well, you can't, since you're just a bunch of bones now. However, don't give up. There has to be something you can do. Something to break free from this trap. Try not to end up like me. So, the skeleton was just a projected. Projection, I mean. <laughs> Big brother, we can't go home. But we can go home, right? It's all a lie, right? Right? Yeah, it was a nice prank, bro. I mean, sis. Big brother, listen to me. Big brother. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, tell me. Tell me you can go back home. It'll all be fine. Or shut up, you think I know? Well, encouraging them to split up is a very bad move, so I guess I'll go with this. Even though he's he doesn't even believe in it himself. It'll be fine, Yuka. We'll be home soon. Don't worry, your big brother is here, right? Who is a fucking pussy? Y yeah. Big brother. <laughs> of course she's crying. Let it all out, Yuka. There, there. As she's consoling her? Really? Sadoshi, seeing you with your sister like this, I may have to change my opinion of you. I just noticed this. Her eyes are blood red. And his are too. What the heck? Come on, Yuka. I think we need to get out of here. It's not good for you. Feeling better now? Your eyes are still wet with tears and filled with blood. I'm okay. Oh, she she doesn't have red eyes, surprisingly. I guess she hasn't matured yet. <laughs> Alright, come on, let's head out. Hmm. We'll definitely escape. Hmm. Okay, let's go around. Oh? It looks like it was shredded with sharp nails. It's impossible to read. Hmm. Whoa! Cool. And then? Hmm. Well, we better get moving. Y yeah. Hmm. Where are they supposed to go? Like, there's nothing really to help them. Oh. Oh. He's going to. Yeah. Thought so. What? What the? Yeah. What the hell? Hmm. But our little board is still in one piece in here. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh. Well, let's go here. Oh. Mayu, is this where you died? Sorry for any spoilers. Stay away from the science lab.
No, ah, yeah. What the hell is that? You think I know? L ladies first. Um, it's a bunch of bones. You can see what it is. What do you mean by that? Hmm. Okay, first. Hmm. I'm going to die. You can never leave. Well, shit. <laughs> what? I'm actually... The hell? Where's the opening? Why are you asking me? There, there's gashes all over the wall. Was someone trying to claw their way out? Hmm. You can never leave. Are we trapped? Well, you can fall down the floor, I guess. Oh, maybe not. You can never leave. Hmm. Am I actually going to die here? Because that's pathetic, even for me. Uh, you can never leave. What? Don't tell me we're trapped. What should we do? Shut up, I'm thinking, damn it. Hmm. Don't worry, I'm letting us. No way, I'm letting us die in this big. Pigsty. That's hopeless. We already tried everything. I'm gonna turn to mo two more skeletons trapped in this room. All because we had to split up. If everyone else was here, we might be able to do something. Like what? Why did this happen? Then I tell you to shut up. Are you so unhappy? So unhappy to be trapped with me instead of your precious Satoshi. Oh, so now Ayumi is about Satoshi, huh? Nah. Yes, why? Why am I trapped with someone like you? And then... Hmm. Okay. Okay... Hey, <laughs> how nice! The green bile here absorbs the living's energy. If you wanna die, feel free to roll around in it. The twinkling light shall illuminate your path and become a bridge before you. Okay, so I don't really wanna go in there. Okay, let's check the hallway so they can see the wreckage. Huh? Did the writing on that poster just change? Oh? The shine of the crystal will liberate the victim's body. Hmm. I would like to save the game. I was trapped for a moment there. Um, okay. Classroom 2. Just 
fucking scary as shit. I'm out of here. The lightning here sucks. What? What's going on? No way. The whole place is wrecked. Uh, but we could take this. Has broken off. Take it. Okay. Well, where can I use it? Hmm. Okay. Um. No. I can use this over there. No. Fucking. It's not that easy to control these guys, really. We could go here. Okay, up or down? Maybe down? Let's see. Oh. Inner wing. Always read the posters. Read the posters. And search the bookcases if you want to leave. Thanks for that. Really? Oh, damn. I hate this. Oh, there's a winky link key. An old key is on top of the shelf. Forbidden key. Maybe I shouldn't go there. Just saying. Okay, but let's save. And then, let's check the fucking bones. Looking closely, it seems like a few bones have been dragged away from the rest. Likely a bunch of mice or something ate some of the corpse then when it was fresh. That's it? That's all I can get? Uh, this sucks. Hmm. All right, so I have no other choice. Mm. I hate the bile thing so badly. I can run in it. Mm -hmm. Let's go up. I can go upstairs. Damn it! Oh! Don't die. You die. Oh. Hmm. Well, I can't do much about this. But I guess I can go and open the forbidden corridor. I mean, classroom. Even though it is supposed to be forbidden, so I wouldn't want to go in there. But Sucks to be me. I'm Satoshi Mochida and all the rest of the bitches. Use forbidden key. Ooh, shiny blingy. Hmm. Well, I can only read the sign. What you can see is not the only truth. You must take a leap of faith. Okay. Well, damn. What the heck? Why can I... Like, take this? What is up with this? Well, I took the leap of faith and I can't... Uh. Well! I have... 
What the heck? Maybe I have to use somebody else? Maybe? confusing oh okay now I get it uh, but I can't take it so what the hell change for the other guys and see how they are doing. Probably already corpses knowing them. Uh. Oh. Okay. I was thinking about going down there. Alright. Let's switch. Okay, so for now I have no idea what to do, so I'm going to save and uh, see you next time! <laughs>